here with the helmsman for the defending champions of Sale GP, Tom Slingsby. Tom, how hard is it to keep finding the motivation to improve when you've dominated the series so successfully? Uh, it's not hard for me at all to keep motivated. Um, obviously winning last year and in, throughout my career I've been successful in Olympics, America's Cup, but uh, now with the addition of Ben Ainsley, that's all the motivation I need really. Uh, I was motivated before, but having the greatest Olympic sailor of all time and probably the greatest sailor of all time join the ranks. Um, there's, a, there's a saying in boxing, to be the best you've got to beat the best. And I want to be known as a better sailor than Ben Ainsley and there's no other way to do it except for beating him in identical boats on these sorts of racetracks. So, uh, I finally get the chance to race him head to head, uh, him skippering, me skippering, and may the best team win. That is fantastic. It's a mouthwatering prospect. Um, you're one of the few teams that hasn't changed their lineup coming into the 2020 season. How strong a platform does that give you? Uh, for sure, we, I definitely considered changing. Um, there were a few ideas we had which we could have changed, but I think we just have so much we can improve as a squad. Uh, if I felt like we were a bit stagnant and not improving all the time, I would have changed. And especially hearing these other teams are, are changing lineups, like for sure, I, d I didn't want to rest on our laurels and think that because we won last year, we're going to win again. Uh, we need to keep improving, but I'm sure with this team, we can keep improving and we can keep the level really high. There's been a lot of talk about the fact that all of the data from every single boat is shared. So all of the other teams had access to the way you were setting the boat up, but still you dominated the field last year. What's the special ingredient that kept you out front? Um, look, the data is amazing and if you can, you have to really go into it with set goals, what you want to get out of the data. For me and I think our team in general, we prefer looking at the footage. Um, I can, with the way the other boats sail, if, if uh, Team Japan or Team GBR are attacking better than us, I can usually through sight figure out why they're doing that and how they're able to achieve that without going and number crunching. Um, so the data is important, but you've got to really know what you want to get out of it. For us to stay ahead, we do need to keep thinking of interesting, good ways uh, to stay ahead and be innovative. But they've closed the gap on us a lot in the off season. In the off season. We had a big lead um, at the end of last year, you could say. And uh, here we've done a few practice races in Sydney and it's not going our way. We're in the middle of the pack, fighting away, fourth, fifth position. Um, the overtaking lanes aren't there anymore. And so really now we're being put to the test. How can we find a way to get back to the front? Interesting you say that. If all of the boats are out there and they're all performing, who do you see as your biggest rivals? It, last year it was easy to point the finger at Japan and say, I'm up against Nathan, but mm -hmm. is, is it a much broader field now? It is a much broader field. Uh, we were, today in practice racing, we were back in the pack and we sailed unbelievably, uh, but we couldn't overtake boats because every boat out there is doing foiling tacks. Everyone's doing foiling jibes. All the manoeuvres are on the foils. Those overtaking lanes where people fell off last season just aren't there anymore. So we need to figure out new ways to get to the front of the fleet. We need to concentrate on our starting so we're not playing from behind and, and trying to overtake boats. We need to really lead from the front and it's, it's not going to be easy. Through the middle of the season last year, it, it started to become clear that the ride height that you and Nathan were able to sustain was carrying you a lot further and a lot faster than most of the other boats. Do you feel like they've all caught up in that facet of sailing the F-50? Yeah, for sure, the ride height's a huge part. If, the higher you can go, the faster you go, but you're also closer to, to a crash. But uh, Jason Waterhouse, our flight controller, is really at the top of his game. He's uh, an Olympic NACRA sailor. He sails foiling classes all the time. And then with Nathan's team, Luke Parkinson is known as one of the best in the business. And we did have an advantage, but I think all these other teams have spent a lot of time at the simulator in the off season and they've come back and they're all emulating what we, we were doing. So they're catching us for sure. It's, it's hard to keep your advantage, but we'll figure out a way. In the build up to season two, the addition of Ben Ainsley has had a lot of people saying that this is his championship to win. Does, does that roll you up? Uh, it doesn't roll me up. I, I love the challenge. I mean, Ben's, he's unbelievable. He was 
one of the reasons I started professional sailing. I sat on uh, the rocks at Bradley's Head here on Sydney Harbour 20 years ago at the Olympics and watched Ben uh, match race a Brazilian Robert Scheidt to win the gold medal and I was sitting there in awe and I, right then and there I said I want to be a professional sailor. I want to, at that time, I said I want to win Olympic gold medal for my country and, and he was my motivation and he has been an idol for me. But as I said, if I want to be known as one of the best sailors of all time, I've got to beat these guys. And Nathan Outridge, uh, Ben Ainsley, these are two of the biggest names in sailing and I get the opportunity to see what I've got up against them this year. That's a pretty magical prospect, going toe to toe with one of your heroes. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember I started getting really good in the Olympic sailing and just as I got to a good level, Ben Ainsley changed classes and moved into a different class. I, I love the challenge of trying to compete against the best and um, for me it's not daunting at all, it's exciting and the adrenaline rush when I'm looking across the line and see Ben Ainsley there, uh, that's great for me, I, I relish the challenge. Okay, last question, you won the championship last year, is anything less than victory going to be regarded as failure this year? Look, we, we hold um, ourselves in sort of high regard and we set the bar extremely high. We won four out of five events last year, but personally, I know how much I can improve as a, as a skipper. I know how much our crew can improve. Um, I want to win every event that we do. I want to win five out of five. I want to uh, win the match race finale. Uh, our team really wants to win everything. And so not really focusing on each event, we're just uh, on the whole event. We're gonna focus on each event as it comes and we're gonna try to win every one. And if we can be in that match race every time and, and dominate the match race finals, uh, it's gonna put us in good stead for the million dollar race and, and defending our title. Can't wait to watch you. It's gonna be a great season. Thank you, Tom. Thank you.